Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about outliers in statistics. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. In this video, uh, we will be covering uh, the introduction to outliers, uh, different types of outliers, uh, the classification or the categories of uh, outliers and what are the causes of uh, outliers and how to identify or detect outliers. So what are outliers? Outliers are values uh, within a data set that vary greatly from the other values. So they are either uh, much larger or significantly smaller. The outliers may indicate uh, variability in measurement, experimental error or novelty. Outliers can cause anomalies in result uh, during the process of data analysis and the outliers should be analyzed carefully and sometimes those need to be removed for the proper analysis of data. Outliers need special attention during the data analysis process because uh, these can have a negative effect on the result of an analysis or the outliers may be an information for the person who is analyzing the data or the data analyst. Let's see the different types of outliers. Uh, the outliers uh, are of two types. One is the univariate outlier and uh, the second is the multivariate outlier. The univariate outlier is an extreme value that relates to just one variable whereas a multivariate uh, outlier is a combination of unusual or extreme result for at least two variables. So that is the difference between univariate outlier and multivariate outlier. Coming to the uh, outlier categories, outliers can be categorized into the following that is global outlier or point outliers, contextual outliers or conditional outliers and collective outliers. The global outliers are single data points that lay far from the rest of the data distribution. Contextual outlier or the conditional outliers are the values that significantly deviate from rest of the data points in the same context. Meaning that uh, the same value may not be considered as an outlier if it occurred in a different context. So outliers in this category are commonly found in the time series data points. Collective uh, outliers are seen as a subset of data points that are completely different with respect to the entire data set. Now let's see uh, what are the causes of uh, outliers. Some of the common causes of uh, outliers in the uh, data sets uh, could be due to human error, uh, internal errors sampling errors, data processing errors, measurement error, experimental error or due to the or it is actually a natural outlier which occurs naturally in the data set. So the human error uh, can be due to entering the data like a uh, typing error. Uh, the intentional error such as uh, dummy outlier included in the data to test the detection methods. Sampling errors could be uh, arising from the uh, the extracting or mixing data from inaccurate or uh, various different sources. The data processing can, uh, errors can arise from the data manipulation or unintended uh, mutation of the data set. The measurement error can be due to the uh, instrumental error. Uh, the experimental data error can come from the data extraction process or the experiment planning or execution. So now we know that uh, the outliers are there. But now let's see how to detect or identify the outliers. So there are different ways in which uh, one can identify the outliers. Uh, some of the methods we will discuss here. Uh, first one is uh, by sorting the data. And second one is by graphing or visualization. Third is by uh, intercortial range. Uh, fourth is hypothesis testing. And fifth is the set score measurement. So one of the easy ways to identify the outlier is to sort the data. This will allow to uh, see any unusual data points within the data set. The other option is to graph the data like a scatter plot or a histogram to find the outliers. So graphical representation will make it easy to see the, uh, the piece of data that differs from the rest of the data set. It can be done using either scatter plot or the histogram plot. Next is by calculating the, uh, the other option is to calculate the interquartile range. The interquartile range measures the uh, dispersion of data points between first and the third quartile marks. The general rule for uh, using it to calculate outlier is that a data point is an outlier if it is over 1.5 times the interquartile range below the first quartile or 1.5 times the uh, interquartile range above the third quartile. The outlier can also be uh, identified using hypothesis test. 
I am mentioning a quote here which is apt for this uh, context. So, all statistics have outliers by Nina Campbell. So, in summary, outliers are values that values within a data set that vary greatly from uh, other data points. There are two types of outliers. One is the univariate outlier and one is the multivariate outlier. And it can be categorized into uh, three global outliers, contextual outliers and collective outliers. And the causes of uh, outliers can be due to human error, intentional error, sampling error, uh, data processing error, measurement error, experimental error and natural outlier. And the outliers can be identified by the different methods uh, by sorting the data, graphing, interquartile range calculation, hypothesis testing or by calculating the set score. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.